Kenya, I would love to have some fruit on the bottom yogurt. But you know what? If you buy it from the grocery, you might as well be eating a bag of this. <laughs> yeah, a bag of this. <laughs> what is that? Do you even know what? Flour. No, that's called sugar. 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 Oh, I, sugar. I say we make some of our own mommy, fruit in the bottom and yogurt. Mommy, yeah. I sugar. Yeah, well you can have some fruit in the bottom yogurt if you want some sugar. I I love store-bought fruit in the bottom yogurt when I was a kid, but it is packed with refined sugar. So, Kenny and I decided to make our own. Greek yogurt is one of his favorite things, so we're going to use that as our yogurt. You ready? So, Kenny is going to put one tablespoon of butter in a heavy bottom pot. We're going to let that melt over a medium flame. You got that? And then what are you going to put in next? <laughs> cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And then Kenya's going to put in two apples that have been peeled and chopped and cored, right? And you can use galas or Fuji's, really whatever you want. This is a great recipe because you can serve it for breakfast. I made it for Kenya's school lunch the other day, or honestly, even a fancy dinner party. Okay, and here's some lemon juice. One teaspoon of lemon juice. And then one of Kenya's favorite, one, one teaspoon of maple syrup. Here you go, maple syrup. And you're going to stir this up over medium flame, cover it, turn it to low, and cook it for about eight minutes covered till the apples are really nice and tender. Will you stir that up for me? And then you're going to take some yogurt. You can use non-fat Greek yogurt, 2% whole, really whatever you want, and put some of it into a glass like this. That's good. Oh, no, actually, you know what, can you? Let's put the yogurt into the bowl first, right? How much yogurt should we put? Oh, I want You want to do it? Okay, can you pour the, the maple syrup? I like to add a touch of maple syrup no. to my yogurt to just sweeten it up. But you can also, I know Tanya likes it plain, so whoops, what happened there? All right, now can you stir that up? No way. Let's give you a little bit more yogurt, okay? So you want to stir that up? And then while Kenya is stirring that up, you want to taste it? What do you think? We're going to make our fruit in the bottom yogurt. Take a glass. Look at this, Kenya. This glass is just like a yogurt cup that you would buy at the store, right? But ours are nice and fancy so you can see the fruit in the bottom. And just pour some of your gorgeous tender apples that we cooked. And then, Kenya, can you put some yogurt in there? Yeah. Wait. Hey. No. See, you go like this. You know what it is? Because you know why they call it? Fruit in the bottom. So then watch this, Kenya. You ready? No. You take your, you tap it. Can you tap? Tap. Should we put another layer of apples? Let's do another layer of apples and then some more yogurt. And then watch this, Kenny. You ready? You ready? You go like this. Fruit on the bottom yogurt. Much more delicious. You ready? Do you want a bite of this or you want me to? Okay, I'll have it. Mmm! You could use apples, pears, bananas, any kind of fruit that's in season that you love. What did you do? Ching, ching, fruit in the bottom yogurt. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, I like to sit and eat this all day. Check out me,